Hello, I'm an American actor traveling and experiencing Europe, and I'm currently in Paris. So lately, when I've been pondering life, I've come to realize that life is a journey and life is not a race. And you know, I see so many people on social media every single day and they're like, today I'm gonna take the bull by the horns and I'm gonna go get it and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get more followers, I'm gonna make more money, I'm gonna sell more crypto, I'm gonna get the part, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get, I'm, I'm out to get today, get, 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 get. You know, there's nothing wrong with being excited about something, I get that. But I think we all know when it can kind of go over the line and be a little unhealthy. But it just seems like for so many people, for so many of us, life can be a race. A race to get there, a race to win, a race to get to the finish line, a, a race to achieve a certain goal, but it's a race. But there's this feeling of, you know, I want it now, I want it now, 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 I gotta have it now. You know, one thing I learned a long time ago is that desperation is never a good look. Desperation is never a good energy to bring into any situation. But the constant daily drive to get something oftentimes can lead to a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety because we're just out there trying to get it every single day. And when we do get it, our minds are not at their best because they're stressed and full of anxiety. And our bodies are not at their best because the stress and anxiety takes a toll on our body. So even if we get whatever it is that we're going after, we're not able to show up the best that we can. You know, if there's one thing that the past two years have shown us is that it's actually forced us to slow down. In many times, in many cases, stop, reevaluate, look at things differently. It's, it's been like a global slow down. But I think that one of the things that we found is that the opportunities will still be there. Even if we come back to them at a certain point, or even after we've taken the time to step back, reevaluate, look at it differently, and then present ourselves to the opportunity. In fact, by waiting, we could even be waiting for a better opportunity to come along. And we were just so anxious that we rushed and took the first one that maybe the one after that could even be a better one. So if we can avoid the stress and anxiety by taking care of our minds, by taking care of our bodies, then when the opportunities do come and they do present themselves, that we're actually able to think clear, focus better, and we're able to present ourselves to the opportunity in a much healthier way. So I guess what I've been thinking about and what I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to slow down, take a breath, take a minute. It'll still be there for you. Maybe even something better because life is a journey and life is not a race. So having said that, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for following me. And as always, it's peace, love, happiness, and joy.